reverse osmosis, we got three filters, a pre-filter, a post-filter, and this is the membrane itself. We also have a faucet, a separate faucet goes up top, and our tank. The tank handles our back pressure and our storage of our product water. That's what a regular install would look like, would be our tank, and then our filter over there, right? So if we think of a, a micron, one micron is one twenty-five thousandth of an inch. A human hair is 70 microns. So if we think, look at an inch on a ruler, there's 25,000 microns in that inch, right? So you can barely see it, right? Reverse osmosis is going to strip the water down to one ten thousand of a micron. That's below using a micron. So it's right there where it says reverse osmosis. That's where we're going down to. We're talking about ionic range, whereas all these other things are clearly visible with micron rating. Now, is it a smart process? So let's say you have a bottle of smart water. It costs two dollars. Use two of them a day. I'll get you sixty-four ounces of water. It's going to be four dollars a day, four dollars times a year. It's going to be fourteen hundred dollars. The product water for this reverse osmosis is going to be fourteen cents a gallon. Pretty smart.